fast-paced team. Um, you know, they get it out, play fast. Um, a lot of talented guys, guys that can shoot, uh, put it on the floor. Um, a couple guys around the same height that can uh, essentially make plays. Uh, and obviously a well-coached team, so, uh, you know, it's going to be a fun one. What's the energy been like at practice? Did you guys get ready for the opening round? Uh, energy has been great. Uh, you know, we uh, essentially been waiting for this moment, get to the playoffs. Uh, you know, the group is locked in, the group is focused, um, everybody's back healthy. Uh, so, you know, we're just uh, preparing the right way. How much backing is... off of that? You've had a week now, well, you'll have a week going into the first game. All that time to think, does it give you a little bit of a reminder of just that sour taste Thanks. you guys had in your mouth after last season? You've got so much time to think about it. Uh, I mean, shit, I guess so. Uh, but, you know, that was that was behind us That's last year. And, uh, you know, all we focusing on is, you know, the Hawks in game one on Saturday, essentially. Did it surprise you how much uh, Atlanta was pretty much in control of the game on Tuesday night? Uh, surprised me? No, I mean, this is one game, right? Um, they're both two good teams that just had some down parts of the season, that's why they probably was in that position, but, you know, both teams really well coached and great players on both sides, so, uh, you know, it was one game, it could have went either way. Jason, how do you feel physically balancing, you know, the amount of games you played this year and the rest you were able to get down the stretch? Uh, well, this is the least amount of games I played in six years, so, uh, you know, physically I feel uh, really, really good, body feels great energy level uh, so you know overall I feel pretty good the finals obviously is in the past but what were the lessons for you personally do you think for this group in making yourselves better prepared for you know this moment to capitalize on opportunities um, you know just learn from it right we had the whole summer to talk about it the whole preseason to answer questions about it the whole regular season to answer questions uh, and now it's like we back in the playoffs, right? We get the, you know, essentially get another chance at it. But, you know, nobody's really looking at the finals right now. We got this game won on Saturday. Um, and, you know, nothing after that is promised. So uh, we're just worried about taking it one game at a time. How yeah. much of the film do you look at from this regular season between you guys and the Hawks just to prepare for the opening round? Yeah, uh, we watch, we've been watching a lot of film from the three games that we played against them. Um, the play-in game and, you know, essentially all the clips from since uh, Coach Snyder has been there and, you know, how differently they may have been playing since that um, change. Jason, you averaged 30 this year, you know, big step up from last year. How do you think playing in Joe's offense, whether it's the movement, the off-ball, the amount of threes, how do you think that helped you this year? Uh, I mean, yeah, that's, that's helped. Um, obviously, our offense is... Just kind of picked up from where it did last season, the second half of last season. Uh, we started off great. Uh, guys are shooting the ball extremely well, and uh, we're just playing together as a team uh, throughout the whole season. Obviously, we had some slip-ups, but we lost a couple in the road. But uh, we just was clicking from day one. Uh, and, you know, everybody essentially got better from the offseason and uh, continue to work on the game. Do you feel like you're in a better place going in this year, you know, playing the style you are compared to last year? Uh, yeah. Uh, just, like I said, just trying to be a better version of myself than I was last season going into the playoffs. Jason, is it hard to fight the boredom of the regular season at times? You've been waiting to get to this moment. Is it kind of hard, some of the ups and downs, to fight through the, like, you got to go through the, first, the steps to get here? Uh, I mean, maybe like the last week or two, of the season, just knowing that it was so close, um, you know, because obviously everybody's just super eager to play in the playoffs and, and get it started. Um, but now, uh, you know, it's here. So, uh, you know, we're all excited and uh, ready for the moment. What have you seen from Joe that gives you confidence in him going forward in this playoffs? Uh, it's a broad question, but I mean, Joe's done a great job all year of managing the group, managing players managing situations um, and you know we're like I say all the time we all in like a relationship we're all in this together essentially to uh, help one another uh, help the coaching staff and the coaching staff help the group 
And uh, I mean, you look at our season, we won 57, 58 games. So uh, you know, I would think we had a really great season and, uh, you know, got a really special opportunity. Last two questions. One of the favorites that you carry on with a certain confidence because asking off of Abby Estu. Say it again. I say, is there confidence as one of the favorites? Thinking back of what Abby Estu, I mean, is it something that there's a trust in your ability to be the favorite? Like as a team? Yeah. I mean, yeah, we got confidence. Uh, you know, we got better from last year. Uh, the, the additions that we got. Uh, and, you know, we're a really good team. And, you know, we got some really good players that play hard, compete, and play the right way. Um, so uh, we respect every opponent we have, but we also believe in ourselves, right, as every other team in the playoffs probably do at this moment. For you personally, Jason, had you had uh, uh, Al here, long career. Last year was his first chance at a title. Blake's had a long career. He's only had a couple of chances to make a run at a title. And you've gotten two now in short order you're still young does that give you any kind of deeper appreciation have they kind of kind of given you that kind of deeper appreciation that you get these these opportunities so early in your career yeah uh just realizing that winning is hard being on a special group and a special team is not uh is not guaranteed right it's a it's a character trait that's involved with that you know you can have a lot of talent but you know maybe guys don't mesh well or um, you know, being healthy is a big part of it. Um, and, you know, I've been very fortunate, you know, to be on some really good teams that have some really good guys in the locker room. Um, and this is a really special group um, on and off the court, uh, very close knit together. Um, and everybody just essentially on the same page. And, uh, you know, everybody understands that and uh, appreciates this moment and not trying to take it for granted at all. For you personally, how do you draw off the the energy of the playoffs and the, the, the bigness kind of of these moments to get the best version of yourself? Uh, as cliche as it should sound, we just got one game on Saturday, take it one game at a time. It's my sixth year in the playoffs. I know what to expect, um, know how to prepare, and uh, just enjoy the moment. Just have fun with playing basketball. Presented by your New England Ford dealers. Built for America. Built Ford Proud.